Hi, boys and girls. This is your buddy Moot Booksley. Not Moot Booksel. For those who are interested in that sort of thing, proper pronunciation is important. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, as you can tell, I'm in guitar mode. Reason being is that a lot of people have sent me emails lately, um, just asking me about using TalkBox with the guitar. I realize that not everybody uh, uses TalkBox with their uh, keyboard, or not everybody's into keyboards. Maybe some of you are uh, more Peter Frampton or Jeff Beck fans than you are uh, Roger Troutman or DJ Magic fans. That's cool. Uh, actually, I grew up listening to Jeff Beck play the TalkBox, and guys like uh, Wah Wah Watson... Uh, long before I ever heard of, uh, Roger. Anyway, thought I would, uh, just give you a brief example here of using the talk box with guitar. Now, here's what I've got going on. I don't know if you can see this. But this right here is that famous EV1823M driver. The one, the wonderful golden throat driver that everybody's all raving about. Finally got it, and yeah, it is the dog's pants. Uh, also, just running it through my little cheap Squire guitar amp here, nothing special, but for a 15 watt solid state amp, it does what we're gonna need today. I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do with a talk box with your guitar. And it's not type typical like keyboard type stuff that you would do Although you can do that, Roger did it, like Funky Bounce, that's a good example of talk boss guitar. Uh, and you can, you know, you can tell what he's saying pretty much, for, well, most of the time. It's harder to do on guitar. Um, anyway, a lot of guys, they just will do this, like, typical wah-wah thing, you know? Like... <laughs> That type of thing. But you don't always have to do that. You can do like, uh, you can do weird effects. You know, you can do like this phase type thing. You get the throat going like this. Literally, you make that sound with your throat. It's like this. You make your mouth all real wide. Try to, I guess, expand your throat as much as possible. And you get this really deep vocal phasey thing. You can do this whole thing. <laughs> You know, that's kind of a cool sound. Um, you know, just something different that I don't hear a lot of guys doing with talk box. I've never heard anybody do it on like a ballad. But then, you know, I always uh, heard guys like Jeff Beck do, you know, your typical Frampton whole like, Do you feel alright? Do you feel alright? You know, and that's cool too, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's basically all I really wanted to show you. Oh, and for those of you who are interested, yeah, you can do it with the Ghetto Talk Box also. But probably what you're going to need is like a compressor or something. Or just a just a distortion pedal and just crank the level on it. Just, just crank it up and get a lot of signal going through there. See, if I amp up this thing right now and uh, get a lot of nice distortion going, check this out. Doesn't really work that well for chords. And so if you're gonna play chords and funky stuff like that, you're gonna want a cleaner tone. Like this. And just like with a wah pedal, 
you're going to want to use like your neck pickup, I mean, your bridge pickup because you want something that's got the most high-end harmonics as possible because the more harmonics are in there, the more you can filter out. Same thing works with the keyboard thing. A sawtooth wave is what you normally use because a sawtooth is very rich in harmonics. It's uh, If you were to look at it on an oscilloscope, a sine wave would be like this really smooth wave, right? But when you start adding the second, third, fourth, fifth harmonic to it, it starts looking more and more and more like a sawtooth. And that's what I'm talking about. The more harmonics are there, the more you can filter out, and the more like a vocal sound you can make with it. You got me, oh yeah. That's all. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.